Hello, this lecture presented by www.free-academy.com. We're going to practice the definition of the derivative by doing problem 4 out of the text. Now, this problem doesn't have us use the formula for the definition of the derivative, the one with the limits and all that stuff. No. This is going to establish, help you establish the relationship between the derivative and the rate of change. So if we pick any arbitrary point on this graph and we draw the tangent line through it, the slope of that tangent line is equal to the derivative at that point. And conversely, you can say that the derivative at that point is equal to the slope of the tangent line. So we've been given here, we want to find the point at uh, negative 1, x equals negative 1. We want to find f prime of negative 1 which should go off in your head that this is the slope of the line at x equals negative 1. Okay, so how do we go about finding it? Well, we've been given this two points here, 0, 4, negative 1, 3, and the line passes through these two points. The slope of the line everywhere has the exact same slope, and this line passes through x equals negative 1, naturally. So by finding the slope, of this line, and we have the derivative, just like that. So, or we have the derivative of that one point. So let's write out our equation for the slope. m equals y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. We'll use 0, 4 as 0 0.2, and we'll use negative 1, 3 as 0 0.1. So this will give us 4 minus 3 divided by 0 minus negative 1, which is positive 1. Do the math. This is equal to 1 divided by 1. It's equal to 1. So at f prime, negative 1 is equal to 1. The slope of this graph, whatever the shape of it is, at negative 1, the slope is equal to 1. And we're going to do a couple more problems like this, because they're kind of illustrative. And then we're going to go on to some more complicated calculations, including directly calculating the derivative using our formula that we learned in the lecture. But right now, just make the connection. Slope equals derivative.